Can you solve this tricky geometry question asked in the SAT entrance exam? We are given a semicircle, and inside it there is a large square positioned like this. The area of this square is 144 square units. To the left of it, there is another smaller square that touches both the large square and the arc of the semicircle just like this. And the question is, what is the area of this smaller square? You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it, and when you are ready, you can come back to verify your answer. All right, let us solve it together. We are told that the area of the large square is 144 square units. That means its side length must be the square root of 144, which is 12 units, right? Now let's assume that this marked point is the center of the semicircle. Since the square is 12 units wide and the center lies directly at the midpoint of its base, that means this part is 6 units and this other part is also 6 units, correct? Now let's draw the radius from the center of the semicircle to the upper left corner of the large square, like this. Let's call this radius as R and look at this green right triangle. The height of this triangle is 12 units, the base is 6 units, and the hypotenuse is R. So applying the Pythagorean theorem we have, r squared equals 12 squared plus 6 squared. Simplifying this we get r squared equals 144 plus 36, which gives r squared equal to 180. Let's keep this value of r squared here. Now let us assume this side length of the small square as x units and focus on the right triangle formed by the radius and the side of the small square. The height of this triangle is x, the base is x plus 6, and the hypotenuse is r. Since this is also a right triangle, applying the Pythagorean theorem one more time, we have x squared plus the square of the quantity, x plus 6 equals r squared. We already found that r squared equals 180, so substituting this we get x squared plus the square of x plus 6 equals 180. Now expanding the squared term we get x squared plus x squared plus 12x plus 36 equals 180. Now combining like terms we get 2x squared plus 12x plus 36 equals 180. Now subtracting 180 from both sides, we have 2x squared plus 12x minus 144 equals 0. And dividing the entire equation by 2 gives us x squared plus 6, x minus 72 equals 0. Solving this quadratic using factorization give us x plus 12, and x minus 6, and that means x is equal to negative 12 and 6. But since a length cannot be negative, we take x equal to 6 units. Therefore, the side length of this smaller square is 6 units, and its area is 6 times 6, which is 36 square units, and that's our final answer. Pretty neat, right? What seemed complex at first turned out to be surprisingly simple in the end. But wait, before you go, here is a bonus challenge for you. Can you find the area of this smaller square in terms of a variable x instead of a specific number? Think it through and share your answer in the comments below. Let us see who can figure it out. If you enjoyed this explanation and learned something new, do not forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more fun, brain-teasing math questions. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.